When it feels scary to jump, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. Life is hard for two reasons. It's hard because you're living in your comfort zone. It's also hard because you're trying to live outside of your comfort zone. We have to choose our hard. Do you want the hard of regret when you're older and you're on your deathbed and regretting the opportunities you didn't take, the risks you didn't take, the experiences you didn't have? Or do you want the hard of each time you took those risks and opportunities and had those experiences, yeah, they were overwhelming, yeah, they were hard, yeah, it freaked you out, but it ended up making you a better human. I think we're here to struggle and to learn. I don't think we're here to be happy. Anyone who's chasing happiness, I think that's a very feminine frame. And we're also here to do important things, and important things are gonna be difficult, and they're gonna be hard, and you're gonna get frustrated. But that's what gives you purpose. I think we're here to struggle, I think we're here to endure pain. Yeah. I think we're here to just see how hard we are to kill. I yeah. think that going through terrible things and living through them and, mm. and coming out the other side is one of the most fantastic things about being human. It's, it's almost like once you understand what life is really about, there's no emotion which isn't enjoyable. The only emotion that, the only emotional state which can be seen as detrimental is feeling nothing at all. But if you're sitting at home and you're feeling truly heartbroken, at least you're feeling something, right? Least, and, yeah. and, and I think that's the whole part of being human. I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to go through pain. That's, that's so I wake up each day and go, what can I, what can I attack? What problem can I solve? If you don't start getting after your dream, it'll get old and dated and stale because you keep wrapping it in cellophane. You keep waiting until you know a little more till I know a little more, till I know a little more. If I just knew a little more, that's BS. You don't need to know a little more. You need to execute a little more. You need to get after it. You need to make some mistakes. Perfection is the lowest possible standard. Quit trying to be perfect. You don't need to know everything. The best people I know in business, they take action when they don't know everything. They learn what they can and they go execute. They make a mess. Being an entrepreneur is messy. You need to embrace the mess. Embrace the chaos. You're never going to know everything you think you need to know. When people tell me shit that is negative, I take that energy, I take that frustration, I take that pain, and I go address whatever is causing the pain. Because the reason it's causing pain for you is because it's true. All right? You have to acknowledge that. When you are reminded of something that you need to do, or you are given negativity, or you are given some sort of discouraging comment, towards an area that you know needs to be addressed, you use that as a trigger to automatically get up and go take action towards that goal. When you're able to use the negativity into productive action, you become someone who cannot be stopped. We all live in this bubble. What you gotta do to get the life that God wants you to have, you gotta put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up, expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you will realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. If you take a man and give him a life shielded from problems and he never has any to face, I guarantee you he's terrible at being a man. The best men in the world have gone through shit. That's just, that's why women love scars. Because they didn't kill you. That's the whole point of it, right? So the best thing you can do as a man is look and go, okay, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard. I feel negative because these are all so difficult. I'm struggling with X, Y, Z. Let me internalize all of that and turn it into a superpower. 
let me become genuinely uncomfortable with my situation in life and go and fix things. Because like I said, the universe is absolutely and utterly very giving. And if you truly hated being in the position you were in, you wouldn't be there very long. People think when bad things happen to them, that somehow they're a victim to the universe and bad things only happen to me and this is so terrible. They don't understand that bad things happen to everybody and the most successful person you know had all those probably, maybe even worse, at least the same bad things happen to them. They just framed it differently and used it. That's that's the difference. So I, I don't pray for an easy life. I, I pray for a life of difficulty that allows me to become a better and better person. I, I pray to become more competent to handle problems. I pray to put myself in a position where if the mass media machine attempts its very best to destroy my life, I can laugh and smile from my villain. Dubai. This is who I pray to become. I don't pray that nobody hurts me. I pray to be able to fight.